hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and today i'm going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, online examination system and you know that uh, all three projects projects are cleared and the last one project is the web project so add asp.net core web application and the name uh, uh, implies as online examination system dot web okay so web application model view controller that is and the first of all thing uh, to add a uh, new controller into the project first of all add some uh, startup uh, you can say dependency injections uh, I mean to say that uh, DI into the uh, uh, program.cs file so before the pro uh, going to program.cs first to add a connection string in app settings.json file so uh, some parameters uh, you know uh, about the app settings .json file that is the first parameter is connection strings the connection strings actually uh, a string uh, where we have some parameters like a default connection that is the name of the connection string and uh, the first thing is the server uh, that is the local db ms sql local db that is the default server name of your uh, SQL server and uh, the database name is a database that the second parameter is the database where uh, a server uh, contains some uh, lots of database so in uh, so in the server we have a single uh, DB file name that is the database equals to online examination system uh, DB online examination DB and trusted connection true i mean to say that the default security is applies for the windows of the windows and the next is multiple active result sets so that query is hold to uh, fire multiple uh, queries multiple sql queries to the server so that's fine now after that you have to add that connection string by using the application uh, by using the uh, db context file so in the startup.cs file we have a services i service collection by using the services you have to add add db context and in which you can um, add uh, application db context file so actually add db context is existing in entity framework core so uh, does not display in the intellisense so First of all, you can add your application DB context file, and after that, you have to add uh, NuGet package that is the application DB context for the for your add DB context. So um, before going to add a new um, NuGet package to add a project reference into your uh, directory, so you know that uh, actually application DB context is existing in the data projects. That is the you're the first project okay so uh, add first of all actually data project is existing in the view models and in in the BLL so in that project we have to add mon model and the BLL there is not uh, included in data because the data actually existing in the BLL and uh, data is also existing in the view models so there is a no need okay so after that you have to create options and uh, options use sql server so you have to use uh, options dot use sql server okay uh, sql server uh, method is not existing in the uh, default so first of all add sql server so sql server yeah microsoft entity framework core dot sql server add it i agree and after that resolve problems to you related to the use sql server method so capital u just type it use sql server okay and resolve the namespace by using control and period from your keyboards okay okay that's fine now after that configuration dot get connection string and the name of the connection string is existing in the app settings.json file that is the default connection 
so just add in the default connection in the simple brackets in the double quotations okay the connection string added in in, in your startup.cs file when migration applies that uh, that string is needed on that time that string is needed okay now after that you have to add dependency injections by using services again so oops small s services dot add transient so we have some uh, services you know that in the service project so i unit of work first of all and uh, that i unit of work is use unit of work repo okay so just copy that uh, thing copy that line for multiple times okay and uh, just change the name of i unit of work with replace with the i group service and uh, you know that group service is uh, uh, implemented by group service okay so similarly you have to change your services name like i student service student service and uh, i exam service and uh, exam service okay and uh, i question answer service and the one more uh, remaining uh, in the list that is just copy first of all and paste one more and you know that the last is account service account service okay thank you very much for watching this video